Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, a daily events worldwide, and we are on December 31st, 2020. Welcome to the last day of 2020. Think riddance. Good riddance. Starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of 2020 on the sun. Observing northern coronal hole with plasma filament as well as southern coronal hole. No space weather to worry about right now. We are expecting a coronal hole wind stream in the next little while. Looking here at 304 angstroms, you can see a lot of plasma filaments, incoming images. Many plasma filaments, all four corners outgoing right now. There was a small CME two of them actually in the last 24 hours nothing dramatic and not earth not directed at earth sunspots are getting ready to depart thank god they didn't shoot off anything towards us i was watching those over the last few days looking here at a real-time solar wind as i said expecting the coronal hole wind stream so wind speeds are starting to calm down we're sitting at about 350 kilometers per second Looking at the annual spiral space weather prediction for the next five days. And that little green dot is our planet Earth. Just to the right of the yellow dot, which is the sun producing that spiral. So we are expecting some space weather. Just a little bit of space weather from the third to the fifth. It will be on its way. Stay safe, stay aware, prepared. And you may even get a glimpse of northern Ontario, some northern lights over the next few days across Canada. Looking at our Schumann residence, a power of 11. With a question mark, I'm not really sure what this is about. I'm still new with the Schumann residence, but we're sitting at a power of 8, a quality of 6.6. .6. Very interesting. Looking here at earthquakes last 24 hours, most recent here in Hawaii. At Pahala, south southeast of Pahala, 2.7. And you can see over the last seven days, it's still been very busy throughout the Kilauea crater and around Hawaii. Quite possibly Mauna Loa, possible showing signs of eruptions. Looking here at Northwest American Plate, Early quake in California this morning. Maui Beach, 3.6. As well, the San Fran. And Washington as well. Looking at these earthquakes the last few days. Cascades, Mount Rainier. No snow on the cap. So stay aware and prepared. Stay frosty, friends. Things are a-moving across this world right now. Still keeping an eye on Mono Lake as well. California Nevada border around the world we go looking here at Alaska minor earthquakes through Alaska and across the peninsula 4.3 there and as well Japan region 4.2 Philippines minor 4.5 4.7 as well a notable here 5.1 Indonesia, notable here, 4.7. This is right beside Krakatoa, 4.9. Sebang, 
Indonesia. So Indonesia plate is a rockin'. And as well, look at all these deep earthquakes today in the Fiji region. Please stay safe, stay aware, prepared, and be ready for a larger shallow earthquake. Four very deep earthquakes over 400 kilometers in depth. So stay safe, stay ready, have a plan, my friends and family from around the world. Some crazy days on our planet. Only looking at two earthquakes here, South American plate, Chile and Peru. Puerto Rico still seeing an earthquake swarm. A couple sizable ones over the last 24 hours, 3.1 and greater. Quiet across Central America. And of course, Europe. Greece there with a 4.1 and a 3.7 aftershock. And Croatia today. And that's the last 24 hours. Have a look at the last seven days. And we're still looking at a very busy planet especially here, Fiji region, these all of these deep recent earthquakes. Be ready. Looking around the planet, Indonesia plate is a rock and we've been talking about. Right up into the Indian plate and Europe, all this activity across Greece and Croatia. Across the world, we are really rocking and we really have been ever since the 21st of the conjunction, which I had warned months ago months ago so please keep sharing and caring my friends and family this is all about keeping humanity aware and prepared let's check out the pacific disaster center here show the most recent volcanoes being updated today most recent here a popo in mexico sabancaya in peru reventador in ecuador sangue in ecuador fuego guatemala era in japan kluchevskoy eboko Kilauea, of course. Karamiski, Klitschevskoy. So that's about 10 volcanoes being updated the last 24 hours. But still, we're looking at about 45 volcanoes active and erupting around the world. Be ready for the new year for a volcanic activity report. And as well, be ready for a New Year's Eve celebration tonight. Looking at the largest low-pressure system right now in the Pacific or sorry, on the planet that is in the Pacific and will be heading into the Alaskan Peninsula over the next few days. Be ready, Alaska. As well, we have storm systems racing out of central United States, grabbing all that warm air from the Gulf, cold front slipping all the way to Mexico. Extreme cold conditions still there. Very interesting changes across the planet. And the cold weather is a coming thanks to that massive largest low pressure system on the planet and as well thanks to our polar vortex would you look at this upper level winds in some areas are racing at up to 350 kilometers an hour these are upper level winds at 10,000 feet and we do still have a split vortex and that's just helping spread around all that cold air even further south than it normally is Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, observing the massive low-pressure system in the Pacific. Largest low-pressure system on the planet. Strongest millibars, strongest winds, deepest trough. And you can see it's going to take about five days there just to move into Alaska. So be ready. Five-day forecast starting out here, Calgary, Alberta. And it's going to stay seasonably cool here. Nothing dramatic. We do have some snow moving in Tuesday into Wednesday. And then for the weekend, we will see a system moving in. And then observing here, the system coming out of the States. Watch for extreme weather and a mixed bag of precipitation straight across the southeastern United States. Probably won't reach the Atlantic provinces. BC coastline and Washington coastline expect the rain train to continue. West coast is just getting saturated, my, my friends. And just wait until this system makes the coastline later in the week. Long range forecast, okay? And again, welcome everybody to the channel. Welcome all new faces. Thank you for joining the family. Looking here over Europe, cold temperatures will be moving in 
for later in the week. You can see here parts of Spain minus six and colder. Got an Atlantic system here that is getting ready to move in to Spain in the long range forecast. Most likely will be a big weather maker, possible tropical system heading into these really cold temperatures. So you're going to see some fireworks for sure across Europe. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains and Shailene is there. You can't really see her because she's grown to a massive <laughs> extent. You can see it heading there through South Africa. Man, oh man, lots of changes. Watching these tropical cyclones form and join forces later in the week. Across the East Indies, India into Pakistan, Northern Pakistan, watch for heavy rain and snow to develop later in the week. Daily evaporation rains across Philippines, Indonesia. Nothing major to talk about there. Australia, you do have a system heading into the north, eastern part of the continent, and will be heading southward. So that will bring a lot of rain and some flash flooding conditions towards northwest territories of Australia. And then watching here as that system scoots off later in the week towards southeastern Australia. As well, watching tropical systems, possible tropical systems forming here all along Papua New Guinea into Fiji. Long range forecast could, could see some nasty storms forming. South America, daily evaporation rains, not too much to talk about, heavier towards Panama, tropical system forming there, and as well Argentina, Chile border, watch for heavy snow and some extreme weather to ride through the coastline there, and the five day forecast. I'm gonna leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere, as well pointing out the major systems and again, right here, right now, I want to say thank you to everybody for following. We're almost at 17,000 followers. Keep sharing and caring. And as well, Happy New Year's. Please stay safe. Stay home. Stay with your family if you can. And if you would like to come and join me on the live stream tonight, you'll be able to see the dew, get to know the dew. Meteo Mike with Morning Dew. And I'll be playing guitar, hanging out with all of my friends and family from around the world. So please join us tonight. I'll be starting at about 9 p.m. Central. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.